Uh, Democrats are trying to persuade a handful of Republicans to force this vote. So let's go to our chief congressional correspondent, Dana Bash. And Dana Bash, what exactly are the Democrats trying to do? And more importantly, do we think it'll work? Uh, it depends on what the definition of it is <laughs> to, uh, to, to, uh, to sort of uh, change a famous quote. But look, I mean, you said that it's mission impossible, right? Uh, and that is very true, Brooke, when it comes to the substance of what they want to do, which is to raise a minimum wage, because the way they need to go about it is uh, what's known as a discharge petition. But what that means uh, in reality is that they need to find 218 signatures to override the objections of the House Speaker. The Republicans, of course, run the floor because Democrats are in the minority. Mm -hmm. So it, it is going to be very hard, if not impossible, to get that. That's the substance. But it is a political election year, and Democrats, particularly in the House uh, and the Senate as well, they are convinced that this is their issue, hmm. that when you frame the issue as they're not out for, for, for us, they meeting Washington. They're not out for the little guy. They're out for, for, for the big guy and the rich guy. Uh, then they are going to do well. In fact, one senior Democrat recently said to me, if this election is about Obamacare, we lose. Hmm. If it's about the way they're trying to frame it with this minimum wage issue, then they're going to do better. And so that's uh, really what this is all about. They're not uh, deluded in thinking that they can uh, likely find the votes that they need to actually get this to the president's desk at this time. Politics and optics and midterms. Shocker. I hear you <laughs> loud and clear. Dana Bash, thank you so much in Washington for us.